This is the night before the big 2024 Husker football and volleyball season debut. And as Huskers buzz with excitement, vendors and restaurants lining the downtown are gearing up for one of the biggest days of the year. 1011's John Grinvalds went downtown to hear from some business leaders and he has this story. It's not just adoring fans who are feeling the hype for what's to come in Memorial Stadium tomorrow. It's also the legion of small business owners all across Lincoln who look to the season opener as an economic engine. Tomorrow, this building will become the third largest city in Nebraska. But before the sea of red trickles in, it's a race against the clock to make final preparations, especially for places like Tanks Country, new to the Haymarket. If I could cross all my fingers right now, I would, uh, but we have a wonderful staff. Uh, it's been a great first 30 days, so we're excited and I think we're ready. It's a similar story at Gate 25, where you'll find refrigerators stocked full of beer cakes. And that's just to get things started. There will be a truck on standby ready to refill, basically a first aid station for booze. We're just super excited to be part of the experience, right? Uh, a game day in Lincoln is like none other, in my opinion. Just a block away, the best of Big Red supplies the color for many in Husker Nation. It feels great, you know. I have like we go to the games and I'm like, oh, that's our shirt or oh, that's our hat or something that we have done ourselves. I'm like, oh my gosh, that came from our store. It's, it's a fun thing for me to do that. The next three months bring in 75% of the retail store's annual revenue. It is our favorite time of the year. The hustle and the bustle, you know, we'll have a store pack full of people where you can't even hardly walk through. Tomorrow marks the first home season opener since 2019, and many have high hopes for the Husker program. I asked Joey Root with Best of Big Red what she's most looking forward to. Winning. Yeah, winning. They have long days of work ahead, but they say the extra sales and the spirit of the fan base makes it all worth it. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvolts, 1011 News.